Hello everyone, my name is Harding Volpido Kulan, a grade 9 student from Rojas National High School, Rojas East District. The present COVID-19 pandemic has brought extraordinary challenges and has affected the educational sectors, and no one knows when it will end. The Department of Education still aims to provide quality education in spite our current situation. Ang Radyo Eskwela sa Isabela ay nagiging tulay upang maabot ang layuning patuloy na makapaghatid ng kaalaman sa bawat mag-aaral. Dahil sa programa ng Radyo Eskwela na ipagpapatuloy ko ng mabuti ang aking pag-aaral. Sa Radyo Eskwela, nagpapatuloy ang edukasyon. Tiyak na makakarating ang kaalaman upang walang batang maiwan. Ito muli si Heart Yung Polpido Kula na nagsasabing lahat ay ating malalagpasan sapagkat walang hindi kaya sa radyo eskwela. Senior High School On Air Academy Unstoppable! To bring you quality education amidst pandemic. To be fair, school opening to October 5. Unstoppable! Giving you accessible learning platform anytime, anywhere. Ang klase, whatever form it is. Comprehensible! Talk it up and get yourself ready. I will repeat, and you will do it later on. Accurate! The sphere that includes all living things. Today, we will be talking about rational functions. Simplify. This is Jaw speaking. How may I help you? This is Zephet School Radio's Senior, Senior High, High School, School on Air. On Air Academy. And now, here's your new episode for Mind and Action 2.0. Your guide for the subject, Physical Education and Health for Grade 11, Second Semester. Mind and Action 2.0. 2.0. Hello and welcome to Radio Escuela sa Isabela, my dear senior high school learners. Are you ready? Oh yeah! You must because our lesson for today includes physical activities in following the instructions and directions. You have to energize yourselves first before we begin our exciting discussion about moderate the vigorous physical activity or MVPA in physical education. Be sure that you are in a comfortable place and please do follow the IATF protocols for your safety while learning at home. Are you excited, my dear learners? Oh, yeah! Wow, energetic! My dear learners, be sure that you have your pen and paper for you to write your answers in your activities later on. And of course, bring out your modules in physical education for this quarter because today's episode serves as your guide in answering the activities in your modules. Are you ready, senior high school learners? Oh, yeah! Fantastic! Before we begin, let's have your quiz last episode. Yes, you make fitness plan or wellness plan. Your teacher is very happy of the result of your exam. Congratulations! All right, it seems that you are ready to listen to our next episode. Stay tuned and we will be right back after this short break. Anak, bakit hindi mo ginadalo ang pagkain mo? 
Inay! Ayaw ka po ng ulam! Ang gusto ko po sana ay chicken joy at hotdog, kagaya ng mga kalaro ko. Hindi mo ba alam anak na ang mga pagkain iyan ay hindi sapat ang sustansyang kailangan ng iyong katawan? Kailangan mo din kumain ng gulay at prutas dahil ang mga ito ay nagbibigay ng iba't ibang vitamina upang lumakas ang iyong resistensya. Ganun po ba, Nay? Sige po, kakainin ko na po ang aking pagkain. Nang sa ganun, ay lumakas po ang aking katawan at malayo sa sakit. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. Class, what is MVPA stands for? Very good! It is Moderate to Vigorous Physical Activity and that is our topic for today. Moderate physical activity refers to activities equivalent in, in intensity to breathe, walking, or bicycling. Other examples of moderate physical activities are water aerobics, dancing, double tennis, hiking, and rollerblading. Vigorous physical activity produces large increases in breathing or heart rate, such as jogging, running, swimming laps, aerobic dance, playing tennis, playing basketball, and bicycling uphill. Again, class, what is our topic for today? Impressive! It's the moderate to vigorous physical activity or the MVPA. My dear learners, to attain health benefits, how many minutes should be done daily in MVPA? Amazing! The physical activity guidelines for Americans recommend that children and adolescents participate in at least 60 minutes of MVPA most days of the week, preferably daily, to attain health benefits. Again, class, how many minutes? Very good! It's 60 minutes of MVPA. My dear senior high school learners, why do we need to do this MVPA? Wow! What a remarkable answer! Yes! Because of the benefits that we can gain from it and for us to achieve holistic health, also especially in our physical health. Learners, can you give some of the benefits of MVPA? Amazing! One is it increases physical fitness outcomes such as cardiovascular fitness muscular development, and obesity prevention. What else class? Yes, that's true. It improves health with a lower risk of chronic cardiovascular, pulmonary, and musculoskeletal diseases, cancers, and diabetes. It also enhances mental health by reducing anxiety and stress while improving self-esteem and mood. It improves academic performance, cognitive function, school attendance, and positive classroom behavior. 
What more? Yes, that's true. It provides more opportunities to meet other physical education goals such as motor development, increased fitness, skill enhancement, and positive social interactions. that you want to gain all the benefits of MVPA, right? That's the power of knowing, my dear learners. But my question is, do you want to know the safety protocol to avoid dehydration, overexertion, hypo and hyperthermia during a MVPA? All right, class, let's find out. Exercises and physical activities are good for the health. But anything in excess or having poor execution is bad. That's a reminder, class. Dehydration or loss of fluids occurs in exercise through sweat breath, and urine. It will result in the loss of coordination and fatigue. Now class, how to avoid dehydration? Yes, you must drink fluids before, during, and after exercise. One to two more cups of fluid must be consumed around 30 minutes to one hour before exercise. Another is half to one cup of fluid must be consumed every 10 to 15 minutes of exercise. And lastly, 3 to 4 cups of fluid must be consumed after 30 minutes of exercise. Even if one is not thirsty. So class, hydrate your body always, okay? Wow, energetic! Now, let us learn what is overexertion about. What is your idea about overexertion? Very good! Come in the form of any exercise greater than the capacity to handle. Training might be subsequent or too frequent Intensity might be too hard, time might be too long, and type of exercise might be too much. To avoid overexertion, training must start from a low level of exertion before graduating to higher levels. Let us know about hypothermia. Are you excited, class? Oh, yeah! Wow, that's energetic. Any idea what is hypothermia? Very good. It is a condition that occurs when the body starts losing heat more quickly then it can produce it resulting in the body temperature going down rapidly. Some of the symptoms are shivering, dizziness, feeling hungry, nausea, rapid breathing, problems speaking confusion, coordination difficulties, fatigue, rapid heart rate, and many more. If hypothermia happens, a person must be moved to a warm place, be warmed up quickly and if awake, be given warm fluids. How to avoid hypothermia? Your right class must layer clothes and cover parts of the body with other types of clothing such as hats, mitten, and ear covers. Did you understand class? Oh, yeah! 
amazing. Class, we have also hypersomnia. What do you know about this? Correct, it is a product of losing too much water and heating up because of exercise. Three conditions may occur. The first one is heat trunks. Second is heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Heat cramps is a type of heat illness and are muscle spasms that result from loss of a large amount of salt and water from exercise. Heat cramps are associated with cramping in the abdomen and arms. This can be caused by inadequate consumption of fluids or electrolytes. Did you know, class, that heat cramps usually go on their own? But you can try one of these home remedies. Rest in a cool place and drink a sports drink, which has electrolytes and salt and make your salt solution by mixing 1 quart to 1 teaspoon table salt dissolved in a quarter of water. Now, let us proceed to heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion is a condition whose symptoms may include heavy sweating and a rapid pulse, result of your body overheating. It's one of the three heat-related syndromes with heat cramps being the mildest and heat stroke being the most severe. We have also heat stroke. I know you have the idea about this. Am I right, class? Alright! Heat stroke is a condition marked by fever and often by unconsciousness, caused by failure of the body's temperature regulating mechanism when exposed to excessively high temperatures. Again, class, what are the three conditions that may occur when you have hyperthemia? Very good. The first one is heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke. My dear senior high school learners, before we proceed to your quiz for today, May I ask you again what MVPA stands for? Very good! MVPA stands for Moderate to Vigorous Physical Action or Activity. Can you give me one safety protocol to avoid dehydration? That's right! Drink a lot of water! Like I have said before, feel dehydrated every day through drinking a lot of water. So may I request everyone to please drink water before we start our next activity. Okay, love yourself so while you are drinking water, but before that, Let's have a short break. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Parating na ato talaga ang bagyo. Mabuti na lang, nakita ko ang listahan ng mga dapat ihanda kanina sa Facebook ng DepEd. Ito ay ang tubig, pagkain, IV card, mahalagang dokumento, flashlight at baterya, fosforo at lighter, first aid kit, kutsilyo, radyo, kumot, banig, lubid, gamit panigo, 
at ilang mga damit. Tawagin man kami para sa agarang paglikas, handang-handa kami. Maging handa sa anumang sakuna. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. And we're back! This is your radio teacher on air, Rhea Jane Valle Bernardo, here at Radio Suela sa Isabela. This is the direction. I will read a question and all you have to do is to identify the letter of the best answer. I will give you 3 seconds to answer each question. Don't worry, I will be stating the situation twice. So bring out your pen and paper to write your answers. Are you now ready? Oh, yeah! Let's begin. Number 1. MVPA stands for Moderate to Vigorous Blank Activity. What is P stands for? Letter A. Physical. Letter B. Emotional letter. C. Mental letter or D is spiritual. I'll repeat. MVPA stands for moderate to vigorous blank activity. What is P stands for? Letter A, physical. Letter B, emotional letter. C, mental letter or D is spiritual. You may now write your answer. Number 2. This refers to activities equivalent in intensity to brisk walking or bicycling. What is it? Letter A. Moderate physical activity. Letter B. Vigorous physical activity. Letter C. Intense physical activity and letter D adequate physical activity. I'll repeat this refers to activities equivalent in intensity to brisk walking or bicycling. What is it? Letter A moderate physical activity, letter B vigorous physical activity. Letter C, intense physical activity. And letter D, adequate physical activity. You may now write your answer. Let us proceed to number 3. The physical activity guidelines for Americans recommend that children and adolescents participate in at least how many minutes of MVPA for most days of the week? Letter A, 50 minutes. Letter B, 70 minutes. Letter C, 60 minutes. And letter D, 80 minutes. I'll repeat. The physical activity guidelines for Americans recommend that children and adolescents participate in at least how many minutes of MVPA for most days of the week? Letter A, 50 minutes. Letter B, 70 minutes. Letter C, 60 minutes. And letter D, 80 minutes. I'll repeat. You may now write your answer. Number four. This means that training might be too frequent. Intensity might be too hard. Time might be too long and the type of exercise might be too much. To avoid this, training must start from a low level of exertion before graduating to higher levels. Letter A, hypothermia. Letter B, hyperthermia. Letter C, 
Overexertion and letter D, heat stroke. I'll repeat. This means the training might be too frequent, intensity might be too hard, time might be too long, and the type of exercise might be too much. To avoid this, training must start from a low level of exertion before graduating to higher levels. Letter A, hypothermia. Letter B, hyperthermia. Letter C, overexertion. And letter D, heat stroke. You may now write your answer. And for number 5, it is one of the conditions of hypersemia, hyperthermia, which a condition marked by fever and often by unconsciousness, caused by failure of the body's temperature regulating mechanism when exposed to excessive high temperature. Letter A, heat stroke. Letter B, heat exhaustion. Letter C, heat cramps. And letter D, heat body. I'll repeat, it is one of the conditions of hypersemia, hyperthermia, which a condition marked by fever and often by unconsciousness, caused by failure of the body's temperature regulating mechanism when exposed to excessive high temperature. Letter A, heat stroke. Letter B, heat exhaustion. Letter C, heat cramps. And letter D, heat body. You may now write your answer. Time is up! And there you have it, senior high school learners! Another momentous and enjoyable time with you. I hope you will apply your learnings from our topic for today in your life. Do not forget to drink a lot of water every day. If possible, 9 or more glasses of water daily. I know you can do it because you love yourselves, right? Oh yeah! Very good! Once again, congratulations to all of you. I hope you gained a lot of knowledge from our learning episode today. I'm sure that answering your modules will ease it because you listen well to our discussions. That concludes our session for today. It's time to say goodbye to today's episode. We will be back again next time for another amazing learning experience. On behalf of our scriptwriter, Sir Brian S. Liamello of Jones East District and the SDO Isabella RBI production team, this is your teacher on air, Rhea Jane Valle Bernardo, saying that Learning never stops, so keep going and keep learning. Embrace opportunities and make a difference. Keep safe, everyone. Goodbye! Patuloy! Patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa radyo! Radyo! Radyo Eskwela!